Hey everyone, good morning. It is Monday, March 14th, and I am thrilled to be here with you this morning. So I am Anna Gibbs, and this is your Monday Morning Mojo. Thank you for joining me. I am always excited to be able to come on on Mondays and share some thoughts with you and some um, inspiration. And, you know, maybe that's a good way to jump off this morning. I, um, I know a lot of people will um, graciously refer to me as a motivational speaker, um, as someone who is inspiring, and I, and I appreciate that. And here is my intention. My intention is to be an actionable speaker, someone who is focused on taking action uh, in their own world, but also someone who is creating that sense for you. So in other words, motivation can be fleeting, right? So you know, we can feel good um, and, and that can last for you know a few moments, maybe even for a day. And yet, does it really create that deep inspiration that, that fuels our purpose and helps us move forward into action? So my purpose for you, my intention is to be someone who can inspire you, but inspire you to take action. So this morning, we're gonna talk about some success principles as we often do on Monday Morning Mojo. And um, it's really to create some awareness around not only your mindset, but some things that will help you to attract success in your life. And I think that um, when, we, when we talk about how we can uh, create action, right? I think that this is an opportunity for us to think about how we are spending our time, how are we spending our, our energy and how are we focused on thoughts, right? Because this is an opportunity to lead ourselves towards the outcome that we want most. And, and just to, to, to speak a moment on leadership, right? We all are leaders and we, the world needs more leaders. And in order to really be an effective leader, we have to take a look at how do we lead ourselves? And so, you know, just some thoughts for you this morning. The world is starting to open up a little bit, right? I think we'd all agree that we're out and we're connecting in a, in a different way. And um, it's been a long couple of years. And so as professionals, as business people, we might find ourselves, you know, connecting in a networking event. It could be online still, and it might actually be in person. And so if we are looking for um, a way to really make connections, I'm going to ask you for just a moment to ask yourself, how do I show up? How do I show up with people throughout the day? How do I show up with people when I'm at an event? You know, am I creating this space around me that says, come on in, right? And, and I get that this could be a little bit of a strange topic, right? Because for the longest time we were like, that's six feet, that's good, stay right there, right? But I'm not talking about physical distance or, or um, really about, you know, your comfort level. I'm talking about, are you approachable? Are you someone that people can feel excited to want to say, hey, do you have a second? I have a question for you. And it's not those God a minutes, right? Those, those, those kinds of things that show up and actually uh, might even take some of your time. I'm talking about that higher level um, kind of conversation where someone is, is basically saying, hey, I'm watching what you're doing and I would love to learn from you. Are you creating that kind of energy, that kind of space around you where people feel comfortable coming in and asking those questions, right? Are you, are you creating that sense of inclusion, basically? Um, and so I know many of you might be familiar with an organization called BNI. Ivan Meisner started BNI maybe 30 years now. And you know, he's such a good um, he, he's such a good teacher around concepts that, that might feel like it's around networking, but it's really about relationship building and it's really about how to connect with people. And he always talks about how to become uh, visible and how to become um, someone who can connect at these events. So I wanted to start with that one as a success principle. You know, are you someone who is, is creating space around you that, that says to other people, hey, I'd like to ask you a question. I'd like to learn what you're doing. Are you doing that with others as well, right? Are you tapping into the talent around you? Um, and, we'll, and we'll talk about that in just a second too. 
Um, if we're talking about success principles today, I think we have to also talk a little bit about what could hold you back. What could hold you back from achieving success? And it's a four letter word that starts with the letter F. It's probably the dirtiest word in your, in your language and it's fear. And uh, we all know that fear is really false evidence appearing real. And I wanted to talk about fear this morning because it, in order for us to get real, we have to look things right in the face. Wouldn't you agree? So what is the fear that might be holding you back right now? or fears. And, and, you know, the number one fear that most people will admit to is just fear of the unknown. Because what happens is your mind starts to go forward and we start to think about and worry about all the things that could happen to us personally, to our family, in our business, to the world. I mean, the list can go on and on and on, right? But if the definition of fear is false evidence appearing real, then we have to ask ourselves as motivated, successful, intelligent, beautiful people that we are, what are we doing? Why are we spending so much time worrying about things we have no control over? Honestly, things that we're not even sure are gonna happen. Because 99.9% .9 of the time, whatever you're worrying about, doesn't ever come true. So this time that we spend worrying and creating fear and anxiety about what's to come is a waste of your time. Why do we do this to ourselves, right? And I know when we get into a moment like this and we can think about it logically, we all, we all start shaking our heads and we all, we're like, yeah, you know, you're so right. Why do I do that to myself? Well, here's, here's the thing. It's a process to unravel because you're in this pattern of thinking and all you have to do is understand that you can control and change the pattern when you want to. And, and what better time to start than today? Right. So so let's just put a little focus on fear for a minute because we're going to create some positive energy around fear. So here here's how we want to break this down. The world we live in. Tell me if you agree. Right. The world we live in is unpredictable. The world we live in is always changing and it always has been. And it will always be unpredictable. And if you could focus on something um, positive around that, it should excite you too, right? Because there is always an adventure waiting for you. There is always an opportunity waiting for you. There is always a challenge to figure out. And, and so if you could put your time and energy into that, how would your thinking start to change? Because again, you know, how we show up and how we control our thinking and our actions is really the only thing that we have in our control. And that's taking 100% responsibility for our lives. And so if we can take 100% responsibility for our lives, we can really focus one day at a time on creating our own reality. And so if you could put more time and energy into that, would you have less time to worry about what's to come ahead of you? I want you guys to get so busy, so productive, focusing on the outcomes you want to create. You'll have no time for worry. There's an old saying that worrying is like trying to use a rocking chair to get across the lawn, right? When you're, when you're in that rocking chair, you're not going anywhere. You're just going back and forth. And that's what you're worrying and your anxiety is doing when you're focusing on all this false evidence that feels real to you. And you're really focused you know, on what could happen in the future rather than what you could create today. Write that down. Focus my energy on what I can create today rather than what could go wrong tomorrow. Because if you're imagining all the bad things that can happen in the world, all the things that can go sideways, all of the things that, you know, create anxiety for you, think about all that energy. And if you could just shift your energy into creating vision, into creating opportunity, into focusing how, on how to break your goals down into strategic plans, would you be a lot more productive? You have all this power already. See, you're using so much energy and so much power to worry about negative outcomes, just shift it into creating something more positive. 
who can say that that's something they need to spend a little bit more energy on, something a little bit more positive and create those outcomes? Yeah, for sure. So I, I feel like, you know, right now there is a lot we could put our time and energy on that could actually have us feeling um, powerless and could have us feeling really overwhelmed. <clears throat> and there's just as many, if not more things that you could put your time and energy on that you could be focused on creating opportunity, opportunity for yourself, opportunity for others. I'm just going to put this in as another side note. If you're looking to become more successful, if you are looking to become more visible, if you are looking to make more money, then what you have to focus on is how to create value for more people around you. Because the people who are paid the highest to do what they do is because they contribute at such a high level and they have an impact on so many people. So focus on how you can make the world a better place right now. Focus on how you can contribute in, in your company, in your uh, organizations. Where can you share your time and talent over and over and over again. So you become more and more visible because that's the ripple effect, right? And that that's actually how you can gain as well. And so when you're thinking about showing up and you're thinking about getting back into networking events and connecting with people, as I said in the beginning of our call, right? How can you create that space that says to people, I wanna help. I wanna welcome you into this networking event like it's my party right? I want to introduce you to people. I want to hear what's important to you. I want to share my passions with you. You know, I think um, old school networking is, hi, my name is, and this is where I work, and this is what I do. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, nobody cares. What they do care about is what you do to change people's thinking what you do to change people's lives, how you make someone's life easier. So instead of telling them what you do for a living, tell them how you do it. Tell them how you make people feel, right? That's the opportunity. And that, that again, brings us back into creating our own reality and focusing less on what can go wrong and focusing more on the opportunity we create. Jill, do you have your hand up to share something or is that from before? I just don't want to ignore you. Good morning. It was from before, but I just wanted to comment coming into this session, like, and then listening to your, your introduction, it just reminds me that I define myself, you know what I mean? And that clearly is sort of the backdrop to what you've been saying. So I want to thank you. Oh, I mean, the great. definition coming in, I, we, the, I define myself. And then from there, you know, just, just say, say it a little louder because I want somebody to yell at me at times. So <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we define ourselves and we are not, um, you know, here's the thing. If we're focused on the negative and we're focused on fearful thinking, we become a victim of our own lives. And that's such a crappy place to be, my loves. It's just crappy. You are not a prisoner. You need to think about the life you want to create. And, and I love when people say to me, oh, it's so easy for you to say that, right? You're such a positive thinker. Well, it's not always easy. It is simple though. And I, again, I will just challenge you to, to, to really look within yourself and recognize the energy and the power you're putting into being negative or limited or, or to see things as, as we sometimes see the glass half empty. Well, could you shift your thinking a little bit over time where you start to see things in a different way? Because when you change the way you look at things, you change when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And that's really, you know, a big part of what I'm here to talk about a lot on Monday morning, because we can start our week in one direction and our thoughts are leading us down this road. And if we have a moment like this, 20 minutes together to think, to talk and change the way we look at something, and that creates a whole different trajectory for you today and into your week, that makes me excited. And that should excite you too, because you have that opportunity. You have the ability to really be in control of your own life and how you show up and the things that, as you say, define you, right? You get to choose. Don't let anyone choose it for you. Um, because, you know, again, 
I think success leaves clues. I'm going to end with this, right? So if you do see people in your life around you who are, are working at a high level, who seem to approach life with optimism and positivity and opportunity and that all things are possible, watch them, talk to them, right? Because you are the, the sum of the people you spend the most time with. So that may be something else to examine. Do I have a lot of blamers and complainers around me? Or do I have a lot of people around me who are big thinkers, who are always masterminding, who are always asking questions and thinking of ways to connect with people and create opportunities for others? Um, or, or do I spend too much time alone? Because that could be the, the other option, right? So maybe you're not surrounded by a lot of negative people, but you're not surrounded by enough people. So that could be something you want to take action on today is who do I need to bring into my life that is going to open me up to possibility, that is gonna create some thinking for me that moves me in a different direction because life is exciting and life is full of opportunity and it's what you decide to make of it. And so who can you bring into your world that can start to inspire you in different ways? Because it's not about feeling motivated, that's short-lived. It's really about finding that inspiration that fuels your purpose and so that you can do things on purpose and not by default, right? So you can purposely start to change the way you think so that you can start to see different results come from your actions. Um, and, and that's why I say it's simple. It just may not be easy. And I get that because it, it has to start with today. You have to start with today and start looking at how you can make that change that will build on, on itself and create a whole new habit of thinking. So thank you for joining me this morning. Today was a short one um, because I do have a meeting to get to in full disclosure, but I just want to share how um, inspired I feel with all of you and how much I appreciate you being here. I trust you're getting something really valuable from this every Monday. And so if you are, please share this with other people. Let's continue to grow the Facebook page. I invite you to join me on Zoom every Monday. Um, because that's always a really great experience. And if you can't do that, certainly catch the replay on the Facebook page. Thanks again. And Jill, thanks for your um, comments this morning. Thank you. Very insightful again, Anna. Take care. I, I appreciate you. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, everybody. I will see you next week. Take care. <laughs>